Hi everyone. Okay, it is September 15, 2018. It is 9.18 p.m. on the East Coast in Anderson, South Carolina, and it is still windy. We've had very, very little rain. It has been such a strange day. And it's been a rather stressful day. I, I just was talking to a neighbor who is very stressed about losing power. You know, and she listens to mainstream media over and over. I showed her this YouTube video and she was really upset. She is the one who says, my TV told me, and she watches mainstream media all the time. And watching this video, it really bothered her. But she has been anxious all day, fearing that she's going to lose power. Um, she has to have air conditioning. And the few times that we have lost power here, it has been very hard for her. So listening to all of what mainstream media is telling us about these storms, if that's what you're listening to only, then it can really do a number on you. And it is, I, I can't even think of any words to describe these people who are reporting on this storm, uh, reporting in general, just on all the events. Uh, it really must take someone with no conscience whatsoever to report, like this guy, the Weather Channel. Now, I wanted to tell you about, and you probably heard it already, I'm sure it's all over the place, the Weather Channel is defending What's his name? Mike Seidel? Is that his name? Um, yes. The Weather Channel came out to defend this reporter who is acting, acting, acting like the winds are so intense. And there you see people who are just walking along. No problem. And look at this. Look at this guy. I'm sorry. I mean, you, you can't do this kind of stuff if you have even just a, a, a tiny bit of a moral core because that moral core will stop you from reporting on national news, and this is where the channel is, is national, um, to report like this, to deceive, to deceive the American people. Yes, it does absolutely take a really despicable human being. Now, what did the Weather Channel say? Oh my God. Well, um, sorry, I wrote it down. All right, I just found it. They said, it's important to note in the background, in the background, Let's get to that background. The people who are walking are walking on concrete. They're walking on concrete. And the reporter is standing on wet grass. <clears throat> okay. Really? That's, that's how you're going to explain this? The reporter is standing on wet grass? And that's why he appears to be blown by wind? Yes. Uh, Mike Seidel is trying to maintain his footing on wet grass after reporting on air until 1 a.m. Uh, undoubtedly, he was exhausted. Oh, boy. You know, <clears throat> once you get yourself out of the lie. It is fascinating because you can catch people in lies left and right. You know, once you clear up your own lying, you don't have to be an outright liar. 
clearing up lying, the pretense that you lived. And then you begin to see so clearly. It's like a whole new world opens up. A whole new level of life. You just see immediately all the people who are still living the pretense. You hear the lies. And then you listen to these defenses of these lies. The, the, the people who can't take responsibility, they defend themselves or other people defend them. And you're like, wait a second, what, what are you in like second grade? Hey, just take responsibility. Don't put out this bullshit excuse that, you know, like the Weather Channel has done. He's, he's standing on wet grass. And undoubtedly, he's exhausted. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We, we really... <sighs> this guy should be fired. Everybody should be calling the Weather Channel. And, you know, the, the defense came after these videos went viral. But Mike Seidel is out there, and he's reporting today. Oh, my God, I would want to hide. I would want to hide. I would never want to show my face again. I would quit. I would be so humiliated and ashamed and embarrassed. Oh, oh, but people who are, like, narcissistic and all about themselves and have no conscience, they're right back at it, no problem. They have no feelings of shame. Wow. I've tried to imagine living like that. I, you know, shame is really important because it helps us. It helps us navigate how we behave in the world. Without it, well, you get to behave like Mike Seidel. You see these ultra low, um, extremely, I always call them ultra low frequencies, extremely low frequencies coming out of Colombia helping this uh, bizarre looking hurricane. We have the extremely low frequencies, yep, coming out of Little River. But what I want to do is read comments that were left by a lot of you underneath the video that I posted today asking you, those in North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, and Georgia, um, it hasn't gotten to any of the states Though, I guess it's beginning to encroach upon. Oh, and look at that nice fine line in Tennessee. So, I asked if you could leave comments about what was happening in your area. And I don't know how long ago I posted that video. Could you do it again, please? Please. Because it's been hours now, and I would really like to know if everybody is safe, number one, and also I want to I wanna hear what is taking place in your areas now. What really concerns me is, you know, all right, Kess left this comment. I got a text message from Duke Power that reads pretty ominous and makes me worry if they're going to turn power off ahead of that storm system. Basically, now, Cass, you're in the storm system. So what is happening right now? Um, let me see. Now, you might be in the area where you don't see any precipitation. But Western North Carolina is now in the storm system that is manufactured by man and you can see on the periphery high frequency heating the extremely low frequencies coming out of Tennessee and this line there begins the um, pattern of a circle right here okay um, so I'm, I don't know exactly where Kess lives but I know she lives in western North Carolina so do you still have power I hope so we still have power thank God 
But when I hear those wind gusts, oh, I do get very anxious. Um, I'm not anxious about, you know, flooding in this area. They, they forecasted rain to begin at 6.30 in Anderson, South Carolina. It, we've had drizzle, off and on drizzle. Now it's completely dry with a few wind gusts. I hope that it stays that way. But um, Duke Power sending out these emails, sending out these texts. Spartanburg, uh, subscriber who left a comment telling us that her friend received an email from Duke Energy telling them that they were going to be losing power. So if you know if they did lose power, could you leave us a message? You know, now they're forecasting power outages. They didn't do this before. And we know, and I'll read the comments, we know that power was turned off in North Carolina before the storm made landfall. Um, so basically the text said significant flooding is expected. Follow all warnings. Avoid standing water debris and power lines that are down and may not be visible. Well, it's hard to avoid something if it's not visible, but if you evacuate, turn off power at the breaker box. Please be safe. So she got that text at 5.15 p.m. It's now 9.30 p.m. and Western North Carolina in the foothills. It's not but just a little windy out and drizzling rain. So, Cass, I really hope that you leave us a, a comment uh, under this video when I get it posted. But I want to read this to you. Another person commented, I need to report this dense fog the past three days over the coast of New Hampshire. It's a penetrating fog like the penetrating heat in summer and the penetrating cold in winter. Even my check engine light has come on a few times for the evaporation sensor, sensor, which never happens. Many dead seals just washed up on the beach also. Smell of rotting fish near the beach and people are getting sick with strange illnesses like Legionnaire's disease. All right. Uh, this is what we are living today. I had a lot of strange fog in Great Barrington, Massachusetts, in between um, the years 2011 and 2012, and they were absolutely 100% manufactured. Dry fog. I would take my dog out for a walk late at night or early morning, like 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning, and I couldn't believe what was out there. But within minutes, my eyes began to, you know, um, sting, my nose burned, my throat got sore. All right, so here are the comments. Pittsburgh area, which is central North Carolina, two hours ago. Um, we have been having heavy rain now for 24 hours. Uh, they are calling for us to have it continuous for at least another 24 hours. We had very high winds until this morning. Limbs and trees are still falling. I live across the street from the Haw River, and I'm about 140 miles from the coast. The Haw River is backing up into the tributaries here, and we are being flooded. I am 500 feet elevation, and my neighbor, two houses down, sits downhill from me. Her yard's flooded by a creek that runs into the Haw. Both sides of our neighborhood has bridges and both are expected to be flooded tomorrow. Again, I'm way inland. So based on what's happening here, from here to the coast must be in a bad way. No, you cannot think that because we are having a hurricane do very spotty damage. Very spotty. So Pittsburgh is here. And Apex, you want to see the Apex um, 
uh, downtown live webcam. Here it is. And Apex is closer to the coast, and they're absolutely fine. So all of you, if you happen to live, Raleigh, I believe, is okay, though a lot of people, I'm not saying everybody is okay. Please understand this. I am not saying everybody's okay. I am saying that this supposed hurricane has not manifested as dramatically as was reported by our president, by our director of FEMA, by our governors, by our mainstream media. So if you happen to live in Garner, Raleigh, uh, those who are east of Pittsburgh all the way to the coast, uh, Bethel, Greenville, Wilson, let us know what is happening, please. Um, I actually tried to get webcams of you know certain areas, but I couldn't find any. Um, so please don't just assume that because you're inland and you're experiencing this, then everybody east of you must be also having a hard time and suffering. Not true at all. Um, flash flooding, microbursts, they have the technology to create all of this. Flash flooding, uh, they can create, and that flash flooding will be in particular areas. And I'm so sorry to you, Phyllis, that your area got hit. And to everybody who is suffering, do not, do not think for one minute that I'm not thinking about you and I am diminishing what you're experiencing. I'm not. And I've said in so many videos, it doesn't matter if everybody is fine, but one person lost a home. One person has to suffer the consequences. And I absolutely, I, I'm, I'm being honest when I say that. I hate the fact that one person has to suffer the consequences of these man-made disasters. Nobody should have to suffer these consequences. And I know what it's like to have everything that made your life comfortable and, you know, for your routines to be upset, for the comfort to suddenly be gone, to have so much of what you cherished destroyed. You're not talking to somebody who's comfortable. You're not talking to somebody who doesn't understand that experience. Hence the reason why I post. Hence the reason why I sound the way I sound. You know, and I don't have that fabulous reportering, reporter uh, tone. Anyway, rain's just picking up, slight rain. Uh, Grayson County, Virginia. South Central Virginia, so far good. Atlanta, nothing is happening right now other than the bad dream I had about last night, and I'm sorry. Uh, North Carolina, don't know where. Not even raining here. Live in the foothills. Okay, so western North Carolina. Macon, Georgia, nothing happening, but really hot, 100 degrees. Um, Raleigh, North Carolina. Light rain, zero wind. Power went out for 20 minutes last night. We have a few puddles. Raleigh is east of Phyllis's area. Southeastern, and look, that Raleigh and all those other areas east of Pittsburgh, they're okay, and yet Phyllis is not. Something is wrong with that picture. Uh, southeastern Virginia, nothing. Little wind, no rain. Now living in Sunset Beach, North Carolina, but from Anderson, Anderson, North Carolina? Um, not South Carolina. I think it's North Carolina. My family said it's just starting to get rain. They're just starting to get rain there. Just winds and rain, not even flooding. We are on the coast, but some of our friends inland said they lost power Friday morning before we did here 
on the coast. Now, how is that possible? Because they turn off the power. The clouds have just hung over us for three days now, not moving, yet the hurricane is moving west. Something smells fishy. And it ain't the rising sea water. Savannah, Georgia. They're having great weather. Pinehurst, North Carolina. Not bad. Little windy. Power still on. South of Raleigh, an hour south of Raleigh, North Carolina. It's been raining hard here since last night. It's light rain right now. The wind comes and bursts. I have power so far, but a lot of people don't. Trees have come down, especially in the roads. The town of Bass, about five miles from me, is without power. This is a manufactured flood event. In your opinion, I would say it's not your opinion. I would say it's, well, you could pretty much count on it being fact. When we're seeing the manufacturing of these storms, well, it's a manufactured flood. Anderson, South Carolina, we've got sustained winds and clouds. Absolutely. Um, Alamance, Alamance County, North Carolina, a little wind, rain today. Moorhead City, and there's an 8 p.m. curfew. But Trump is supposed to be here Monday. Patty here in Sunset Beach, North Carolina. It's Saturday, it seems. They have parked the storm on top of us. And in Calabash, we drove into Cherry Grove and North Myrtle Beach this morning. Hardly nothing. Some had electricity, some not. However, they parked on us here in Calabash and Sunset Beach, those clouds. Tornado watches today, but trees steady coming down because of saturated ground. They are uprooting. Um, didn't lose power till 2 o'clock on Friday. They are soaking the hell out of us. We are going to Anderson until friends mentioned they were running out of water, so why go inland? Um, my God. Slow, steady rain, gusty winds, 15 to 25 mi miles per hour. No downed trees. Uh, Gaston, South Carolina. Southwest Virginia, south of Rona. No rain. Just a few drizzles earlier. Now calm. Just ugly, overcast, chemtrailed skies. Uh, read several comments on Facebook. At Hampstead Inquirer. Some stores have opened. Reported lights were on. Some gas. Not sure. May take gas only. Cash only. Um, Richmond, Virginia. I do see frequency skies still getting alerts. Rain and winds is possible, but I don't think it's anything to do with the total hoax of Florence. I believe it is an excuse to really hit any of these areas hard and have an excuse. I've been trying to tell people for two years we have no natural weather anymore. No, we don't. North Georgia, weather is beautiful. Lucky you. Uh, nothing here yet. This is Kess. That was before she left the last comment about Duke Energy texting her at 515. But five hours ago she said in Holden Beach, I don't know if that's South Carolina or North Carolina, but her uncle is fine, her cousin is fine in Myrtle Beach. Heard from her earlier in the morning and Nothing like Hugo. People are hearing that this is going to be a Hugo. Uh, it was nothing like Hugo. Um, she did have a friend in New Bern that lost two vehicles to flooding. Two rivers surging down there late Thursday night, early Friday morning. They did get out and are fine, but said most of their stuff is ruined from that, and they didn't expect it. You know, I get visceral feelings I, I when I hear that people have lost and they have to suffer the consequences. Am I the only one? Please tell me I'm not the only one. Chapel Hill, complete cloud cover, light wind, rain, intermittent. Power is still on, roads aren't flooded, nothing burger. Heavy rain, close to 24 hours. Um, 
12 miles from Burgaw, North Carolina. Power has been off two days. Oh, I'm sorry, ludicrous speed. Running power from generator. Some trees down. Yard is holding around two inches of water now. Still much rain. Cape Fear River, about three miles from this location. Durham, just north of Apex. Just north of Apex. Uh, some flooding, and yet Apex is fine. Very, very uh, spotty. All right, I hope nothing happens, little Chris. Charlotte, North Carolina, doing fine. Light rain in Charlotte, gusty winds, little gusty winds. Some limbs down, some saw one tree that fell yesterday, but the tree was rotted on the inside. Daughter working at hospital in Wilmington, North Carolina. Power went out several times. Reported some heavy storms off and on. The neighbor has been on Facebook Live a couple times, and their house is okay, but some of the siding came off. Today, reported the water is no longer able to drain. All right. They may very well be closing off the drainage, the sewage, the, the, uh, the sewers. I, I can't. That's my gut feeling. That's why I think we're seeing an awful lot of the flash flooding. It's not just the rain that's coming down. I do think that they are shutting down the the sewer systems and that's why they're backing up. Few showers off and on and a uh, little north, north of Charlotte, North Carolina. Terryville, North Carolina, which is 45 minutes west of Charlotte, 20 minutes above the South Carolina line. So far all we've had is some light rain it's been windy, nothing more than what you've seen on a normal windy day in the fall. We have periodic strong gust winds. You have my weather. It's been nothing. Another one, Hugo. A lot of comments coming in. Uh, they're hearing, Hugo, Hugo, Hugo. All right, Lexington, Kentucky. Blazing hot today for some reason. It's been raining hard on and off occasionally with the last weeks, within the last weeks, enjoying light rain while it's here. Some wind, some rain in Spartanburg. Um, little town off of I-95, Four Oaks, North Carolina, east of Raleigh, north of Fayetteville. We're part of the 20,000 out of power. It went out 3.30 on Friday. Nothing like they said. Steady wind gusts up to 40 to 45 miles per hour, maybe a few higher gusts. Several times the treetops were rocking and rolling. Still raining steady and winds are currently around 14 miles per hour. Water is ponding, is ponding in our, in ours and neighbor's yard, but not flooded yet. Saw some trees down, uh, uh, but the ground was saturated before the storm. So, uh, I know that Western North Carolina, a lot of those areas have been so hit with so much rain and true for Virginia as well. They claim the ground is saturated here in Anderson, South Carolina. Sorry. That is, that's the, um, the uh, plausible deniability that they put out before the trees fall. And they're, they're falling because, well, in areas like in Western North Carolina, the ground being saturated that certainly helps, but we've had very heavy rains before in areas. Grounds have been saturated. Trees didn't just topple over or uproot. Now they are because their root systems have been, their immune systems, the root system is so weakened from the geoengineering, the spraying of toxic chemicals and heavy metals. Winston Salem, little rain, wind so far, some wind, some rain in Spartanburg, Lexington, Kentucky. Is there a little town in Lexington called Spartanburg? Because now I'm confused. There's a Spartanburg, South Carolina as well. 
I'm going to say there's a Spartanburg, Kentucky. Um, blazing hot today for some reason. You've had an awful lot of extremely low frequencies being set off in Kentucky and Tennessee. And did you see a lot of black stuff in your sky? Well, blazing hot for some reason. They can create localized heating, atmospheric heating. Cherryville, North Carolina, 45 minutes west of Charlotte, 20 minutes. Oh, this is the same. That's the, I read that comment already. Few showers off and on a little north of Charlotte. Okay, these comments are repeating. Light rain in Charlotte and a little gusty winds. Some limbs down, so in trees that fell yesterday. This is weird. I'm reading the same comments. Um, here, near Salisbury, North Carolina, between Charlotte and Greensboro, we've had some rain, some wind, and my dish only went out for a few minutes, but it usually does when heavy rain comes through. But near Hampstead, North Carolina, they have con been continually hit with the major portions of rain and wind, which is northeast of Wilmington, about 15, 20 miles. Um, in Chapel Hill, complete cloud cover, light wind, rain. I didn't highlight that comment. This is weird. North Georgia weather is beautiful. Something's happening with the comment section. This is another, this is not Ralph's comment. Ralph doesn't live in Georgia. Um, all right, fine in Richmond, Virginia, we have no natural weather anymore. Exactly. Something really is happening. Okay, Kalika, who lives in California. She's writing Southwest. Virginia is south of Rono. This is really weird. Outside Atlanta, nothing here. Tommy lives in Raleigh. Patty here. Okay. Uh, don't understand what's going on, but let's move on. Okay. So. We have heard from two people who have experienced uh, damage. Things, their homes flooded, everything ruined. And other people having property flooded. And then most are saying it is nothing like what is being reported. So here is Apex, North Carolina. It looks like a, it's been a wet day, but um, looks pretty clear tonight. Here's Myrtle Beach, and it's all you see is the pier. No flooding. You see this guy standing on the pier. Um, here is Charleston City Marina. Okay, looking pretty good. Here is the traffic cams for Greenville, South Carolina. Now, you know, uh, Greenville and Columbia, having looked at Intellicast several times today, well, Columbia's got quite a bit of rain right now, and Greenville. Uh, you had a whole lot of precipitation covering you today. So you would expect, okay, it's a hurricane. And Greenville, my God, they were reporting three feet of water. Three feet of water. 
All right. Well, your roads are looking pretty good. And I will link below to this. So um, I've gone through, I haven't checked every single road, but I have looked at pretty much an awful lot. And traffic is moving beautifully. Nothing is flooded. And Columbia, nothing is flooded as well. And if you want to check out, you know, these traffic cams, Columbia and uh, Greenville, click on the link below. But, uh, the flyer one now. Um, no flooding. Traffic seems to be at just a normal speed. Nothing happening. And sometimes you have to wait forever for all of this to load. Okay. That's my report. I want to thank everybody for leaving comments. Every one of you. Um, and my heart does go out to everyone affected. My subscribers who are affected, but everyone. You know, there are areas of North Carolina that really got a, an awful lot of flooding. And those trees that came down and killed people. There was a death in Gaffney, South Carolina today. Trees coming down. All right, guys. Stay safe. Please leave your comments. I really want to know what's going on. South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, Virginia in particular, and Eastern Tennessee since, yep, you're now experiencing Florence. <laughs>